Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, we're our video, and today for Tactical Weapons Part 13, I think we're on, we're doing Russian Tactical Weapons here in this video. So these are going to be specifically Russian Tactical Weapons here for this video. I'm going to be using the Milsim character for Militant on Cortac for our primary operator. You could also use uh, Thirst and his, uh, just his Thirst main operator skin as well but i've always preferred um the militant skin for um for cortec here shadow company because shadow company really can be pretty much from any any nation so we're just going to presume or assume that they are russians um the other thing is it's kind of unfortunate we don't have any uh like actual fsb mills so we had bail in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, so definitely be nice to have him back. It is a cool thing here that they did with the Black Ops 6 and the new icons there in the Battle Pass and Store reflecting off the goggles. I think that's a nice little uh, attention to detail that they're doing on the operator on the Cortex side. So let's go ahead and back out. We'll change our operator over to, uh, to the Cortex side for our Shadow Company guy. Here we go. So, Russian tactical weapons. Let's go. So, we have the the Alpha AKS-74UB. Now, this is the final build here we're running. So, the AKS-74U, you can see here we're going to run a monolithic suppressor, which is the PBS-4 for the 545 by 39 AKs. The short tech 190mm uh, handguard there, or the barrel for that M-Lock, uh, or excuse me, the key mod barrel to give it kind of an alpha-esque look gonna run the viper or the cobra site there gonna rub the pt1 buttstock from uh zedico or the marquee r7 and then we're gonna run the bruin tilt grip to try and replicate something like an rk0 foregrip on that so that's our aks 74u or or our alpha aks 74ub because it's suppressed really nice very good looking build there. So that's our first Russian weapon. Let's go ahead and back out. Check out our next one. Going to run the AN94, AN23. Unfortunately, this is an abomination of the actual AN94, which is tough to see. But we're trying to make it as best we can to an actual AN94. So the SVA545, we're going to again run that mono or the Gauge 9 mono suppressor. There's two PPS4s in the game here. Which is interesting, but that gauge nine again gives us the PBS four because this does fire the five four five by thirty nine. We're gonna run the AN ninety four uh, thermal optic sight. This is very similar to the one that came with the weapon uh, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare twenty nineteen, which just begs the question why they did not just reuse the model from that game because it was perfect. Um, so super disappointing there. Uh, we're gonna run the correct butt stock for the AN ninety four the the main V six stock. And then the 45 round uh, Bakalite magazine there. Again, you could run the, the base transparent one or a 60 round casket. None of them are canted, which is just really annoying, unfortunately. Um, so I try to do that just to, because of the uh, transparent magazine for the 30 round. Just kind of bugged me. So that's our AN23. Let's go ahead and jump into the firing range with both of these weapons. First up, our Alpha AKS 74UB. I guess our 74UNB we would call because we do have this side mounted dovetail. And I have not been playing Call of Duty as you can tell, or console games in general. And my aim is pretty terrible. <laughs> Really nice. Do always like this weapon. I love how they finally added like the modernized attachments to it. So, our AKS, Alpha AKS 74 UB. And here is our AN94 or the AN23. Again, from the same caliber there, the 5.45 by 39. So. Now, that's in full auto. Um, again, I've always, you can fart and burst. I've always preferred, um, you know, firing the burst mode or keeping it in full auto and just bursting it. Very accurate. I did a Warzone build with this and I had, I dropped 15 or 16 with one of my higher kill Warzone games ever, I think. 
But again, if you just burst it, just quick trigger finger while in full auto, you're still going to get the burst. And if you needed to, you can go full auto. That's the whole reason I like to do it. So this thing's a beast. Again, when you just tap fire, there's no recoil on this, like, at all. So very accurate. You can get shots on target super quick, very accurately. Um, this is a super underrated weapon, I feel like. I, again, I don't really know what the meta is these days in Warzone, but this is an underrated weapon, I'm sure. So, um, go ahead and back out. Next up for our Russian tactical weapons, we're going to run the Alpha AK. So, Alpha AK, very similar to the, some of the builds you've seen in the past. Um, we're going to run, here is again the Castell 545 or the AK-105. So, we're going to run the VLK Coloss Flash Suppressor. That's going to give us that, that big, fat, like, Russian Alpha Flash Suppressor Compensator combo. Going to run the Zeneco uh, Sport Handguard there, the IGK-30. And then we're going to run the Lone Wolf Optic, the PT-1 Buttstock. And then I had to switch out the front grip for a, re a rear grip option just because I wanted a black Alpha AK for this. Um, you guys have seen kind of the desert painted ones a lot already. So I wanted a black one. So I just put an Ivanov uh, grip on there. That way the black camo actually covered uh, all parts of the weapon. We didn't have a tan grip there. So that's our Alpha AK, again, a 545 by 39 another one there. Um, but again, this is a great weapon. I had a really good, one of my, I think the, my best, probably my best DMZ game ever, close to it, uh, with it, with the Alpha AK in DMZ for Modern Warfare 2. So really good weapon, one of my favorites. Finally, glad with Modern Warfare 2, they added actually correct uh, modern AK attachments so here we have an ak-104 this is a really nice one again this is our big boy ak 762 by 39 millimeter so uh we're going to be running the midwest industries key mod handguard there with that 342 millimeter socken kl barrel handguard combo gonna run the merc foregrip again because this is a 762 by 39 millimeter i mean this thing it, it's going going to kick in real life and in the game so we want like a big beefy grip to control it one milliwatt pec for that pec 15 on the right hand uh, key mod. And then we're going to run the SC-07. Again, I think it's personal preference there. There's really, the Russians run, you know, they rarely run like the old classic OKP or the or the Cobra optics anymore. They really have like clones of US optics these days. Um, and then the Markiev R7 or the PT-1 is out of go butt stock. So that's our AK-104. Looking really nice. I guess we could call it a Zenico, Zeni AK-104. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and back out. Jump into the firing range with these ones. So start with the Alpha AK. It's really this one really is kind of a an Alpha 74M instead of an Alpha 70 uh, 105 because the barrel is extended here. But still an Alpha AK nonetheless. Now personally, I prefer a grip on this. So if I were running any other camo besides the black. I would have a grip there. I just didn't want it to look dumb with the with the tan pistol grip. So that's our Alpha AK. It does look kind of bad without a grip. So I would I would maybe recommend another camo and throw a grip on there. That way you don't need to worry about it looking weird with the black camo. However, the 103 converted to the 104. You don't need to worry about that because the black actually covers all of the attachments correctly. So this thing is a beast. I love the way this looks. And again, like, it hits pretty hard, so. So is our AK-104 Midwest Industries Zeneco build. You gotta love that reload. Classic AK reload. Go ahead and back out. Have a few more here. We're gonna run the KV Broadside. So this is gonna be a Saga 12 build. We're going to run the FTAC uh, Trinjic Core, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. Again, this is a, our 12-gauge shotgun. The SC-07 again, the Marquee or the PT-1 Zeneca buttstock. Going to stay with the base magazine and then just an angled foregrip, that, that Chuok angled grip. Definitely not pronouncing that right. Um, so we leave it open for an attachment. You can throw on maybe a 25-round drum or something like that, or a grip or a laser. But this is our Saga 12. Really nice compact shotgun gotta love a good at saga 12 here this thing's a beast i remember when it first came out using it in dmc it was just a lot of fun and next up a really nice modernized looking pkm so 
The only issue I have with this is when you put an optic on, for some reason, they feel they need to re remove the front sight post, even though you already have height over bore with the uh, mounting <laughs> for this, but it is what it is. So um, that kind of bugs me, but it's all right. Um, it's still possible in real life. So we're going to run the, the uh, first barrel there, the Reckoning 8 Heavy, to give us a proper PKP barrel. So I'm, I said PKM. This is a, it is PKP barrel um, with that PKP forward carrying handle. Um, we're going to run the Cronin Zero or the Spectre Alcan. Russians do have their own version of the Alcan, very similar. Uh, FTAC Elite stock, and we're going to run a 150 round or 200 round belt and the Polymot Heavy Bipod. It just looks really cool on this gun. So, this is our PKP Pechenegg. And I do miss the Zeneco PKP blueprint from Modern Warfare 2019 again. Modern Warfare 2019 just did a lot of things better. And that was definitely one of them. So that, I think, do I, I'll take these into the firing range. I just wanted to see, I think I might have more. We'll see. Jump into this. So the Saga 12. Nice little shotgun there. Good build. Landed, sent in an invite. Sorry, Landon. We're doing tactical stuff. Slag at 12. Looking nice. And then the PKP. You gotta love the PKP. Let's do the inspect here with the bipod. I do really just... The rate of fire bugs me heavily on this. I don't know... I'm sure they did it for balance purposes, but... And it just sounds really, really weird. Just sounds very heavy and strange the way they did it. But the rate of fire should be it should be very similar to you know Infinity War did it right with Modern Warfare 2019. So it's strange that they went the other direction. Did a different rate of fire and everything there. Trying to bag dump this. Get a full reload here. 200 rounds. I remember the good, the PKM in Warzone 1 converted to PKP with 200 rounds like that. It was so fun. Good times. Good times. So that's our PKP and our Saga. I think we have two more builds here. Let's take a look. So I'm going to run the the uh, Orsis 5000, I think it's called. Um, so we're going to take the XPX 80 and convert it to an Orsis 5000 or a 2000. Um, I can't remember the actual number. I think it's a 5000. Um, so the FTAC Reaper, we're going to run the blueprint there to give us the wrap suppressor for the Watchdog blueprint from Modern Warfare 2. One milliwatt pack for a pack on top, the Raptor optic, the DMR precision stock to give us a closer version to the Orsus T5, T5000, that's it, the Orsus T5000, and then just a bipod. So that's our Orsus T5000. Really nice one there. And then I think that was the last one. I don't think you know what this is a russian gun so we might as well cover so this is the kv broadside i did this in the technical weapons video a little while back also um but for this one we're using the blueprint for the the jawbreaker and that'll turn it into a 458 battle rifle fully automatic pt1 buttstock gonna run that uh thermal optic to give us kind of a russian looking flip merc foregrip again because it's uh heavier caliber weapon the 458 and the Bruin harmonic suppressor so that's our 458 AK so let's go ahead and do that I had that one left over so we might as well just go into it again because it does fit with the Russian weapons now I didn't cover the AK 107 obviously we've done that in a couple of technical videos on the conversions the 107 and the 109 are both in the game but I already covered those um so I didn't want to do them again I did them in a couple different videos and I do think a lot of the camos just look pretty poor on them as well so it's our orsis t5000 and here is our ak458 firing that 458 socom again really tough that this thing has a base 20 round mag so really it has a faster rate of fire or a slower rate of fire than the uh, f -tech, than the f -tech, but 
Um, again, you have a larger magazine, so it really... I wish they would have added a 20 round mag at least for that. Because this thing, because of the rate of fire, it's just very accurate. Really nice gun there. Those are our tactical Russian weapons. Let me know your thoughts down below. What ones I missed you would want, want would have wanted to see. We had some SMGs and th some things like that I didn't cover. You guys are enjoying the content. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. A lot of Black Ops 6 stuff coming up here on the horizon. Delta Force, Ground Branch, Ready or Not. We got everything coming at you guys. Arena Breakout, so much stuff coming. It's a great year for gaming. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.